Yo ho bro and welcome to an update that I should probably give all of you guys. I haven't been active on the Let's Play channel and the uh, the video channel, the animation channel, for a little while now because I've been doing a bunch of photography. And that photography has been keeping me busy quite, uh, quite a lot. So... I haven't had any time to do any type of video, not uh, Minecraft and not any Thief videos. So I've been stuck uh, doing a bunch of photography stuff, a bunch of the editing of those pictures, a bunch of the taking of the pictures, and uh, I have a few more scheduled throughout the year actually. So uh, I am just decided to not do any more videos for a little while until Minecraft uh, updates their main their main game, the aquatic update that's coming out. And then GopherCraft is going to be reset and then I'll do some more recording then. But I have found some time to do some Thief videos so I'm going to be doing those uh, pretty soon. I actually already were recorded the first episode of Thief 2 and that will be going up after this update video. I uh, did a live stream of that. I'm going to see if I can actually do live streams of the Thief game on like Tuesdays around like 11.30. That would be good. 11.30 uh, Eastern Time. See what, if, I, if I can actually do that. I'll stream them on YouTube right here on this channel, this YouTube channel. Um, while, while I haven't been doing any recordings, um, I have been doing a little bit of Minecraft here and there. Um, I haven't been, in, haven't had the space to put it on my computer because I've been, had all the raw pictures and edited pictures, just been taking up my hard drive space. But, I have done a little bit, uh just to uh, do some relaxing and such forth, not to do any type of entertaining episodes or such forth. So a few friends have uh, put up a Skyblock server, and I've been uh, derping around on here. Everybody else is like super automated, has all of these machines up. Heck, uh, logged on today, and I think um, Earthen has... Uh, created a chunk chunk uh, creator so yeah that's that's a chunk of the world created from the void which I think is wow it's a lot um so I have over here have my place this is spawn right here I've chisel bit it in a safe platform that we can come to for for every time that we do 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 every time that we uh, hit the slash spawn we can actually land into something safe in the case we're on fire or something but my place is over here past momos momos was logged on once never to be seen again and can you get it logged logged on ha 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 the jokes and of course I've been uh, chisel building up pretty much everything that I've been doing around here started off with a jungle tree and made it in a water trough that comes into this water here this is actually an infinite water source uh, these are just chisel bits that make it look like the there's uh, rainwater being collected from around my base and being put into this little rain barrel down here, which I think is kind of cool. Got a bunch of uh, jungly stuff around here. Got a bunch of hanging vines. Oh, i just so proud of these little vines that I've had going everywhere in this, in this place. It looks really good. I love these little vines. Been trying to do a magical farm, not getting too many materials. Um, thankfully, uh, Sky and uh, DJ have been kind enough to give me most of the materials. They're just like, oh, you need this? Here you go. 
and I worked my way up from uh, just all the chisels. So pretty much most of this that you see here has been done with one chisel, one diamond chisel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, different. I named my dog Chisel here because I got a dog uh, egg from a loot bag that I took from somebody. And I have googly eyes as well. Oh, and while we're looking over here, uh, I set up this chisel bit area and I am loving this chisel bit armor stuff that you're able to do that you're able to make. And this is diamond armor. You can only do it with diamond armor, but it's a pretty good armor. And I, I love how this, how this stuff just looks. It's fantastic. Uh, let's see if we're here if we can uh, get any sort of uh, close-up of of this stuff. Let's see here. Take off my chest piece and put this down. I uh, can kind of get a close-up of uh, how things look. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. No, that's right. I can just hit uh, G. There we go. I can kind of get a close-up view of some of the stuff that we have here. So, yeah, I have a chest piece on that has this little um wooden armor that i remember from the movie hook if you remember uh rufio his type of weird uh wooden armor that he has on him i thought that was really cool lost boys armor that's the kind of feel i was going for i have these stone claws that i've uh taped around my arms and of course the ambiguous anime one shoulder armor that is super and super dense and then the other side you just no armor at all of course and I have googly eyes on oh, of course I have googly eyes on uh, control no alt no right click ah that right click is drag the helmet is basically just a headband oh part of the chest piece is a three-dimensional tail and let's see here got a standard uh, jungle uh, a tire for the leggings uh, as well as an axe that is attached to my leg and the shoes as well and these all work just perfectly I think think these look so cool these chisel and bit and stuff uh, that this is actually my second armor my first armor is right over here uh, it's the lava set, and I just wanted to see if uh, it could do animated textures. Ooh, um, that's right. Um, apparently, I can put my other armor on here. Might as well. Uh, pants. Nope, that's not what I want. <laughs> Wrong pants. I want those pants. Nope, still not good. I want these pants on, and these shoes. <laughs> Not what I wanted! Put you down. I don't... What do I have in my hands? I don't know. Here. Shoes. Shoes! There we go. Alright. There we go. I have the full arm... Oh my gosh. And of course it looks all funky. This is... This is due to the fact that one of these items is enchanted. My boots. So everything goes transparent. Which kind of looks cool when all of it is transparent. Right now, it kind of just looks really, really ridiculous. Especially with the googly eyes on. Um, so, yeah, that looks ridiculous. It's my lava set. I have frost walk on my lava set. I was trying to get some ice. Uh, but, yeah, the uh, lava helmet with a little Mega Man stripe down the center... Got a couple of metals on my lava armor. You can barely see them there on the chest. Um, got the fanny pack slash lava bikini. Not sure. I wasn't sure how pants worked in Chisel Bit. I wasn't, didn't know that you could come up to uh, this guy and hit alt. And then you could select pelvis, right leg, left leg. So it just remained on pelvis and just looked really weird. Uh, and of course the lava boots so oh there we go now everything looks uh somewhat normal googly eyes still there 
don't know how to get rid of googly eyes. Uh, put away my lava set. Uh, let's see here. Uh, put down this. Put this down. Where's my Oh, there's my headband. There we go. Got my headband. All right, can I... No, I can't. I gotta take this all off manually and put on the other stuff manually as well. So, helmet, um, chest piece, pants, and boots. There we go. Then we shoes, pants, uh, armor, and head feet. ND on the glass. Alright, there we go. Now we're back to somewhat normal. Still have googly eyes. But don't we look the same? <laughs> oh, googly eyes. Sometimes I hate you, sometimes you're funny. So yeah, have a position for each... Uh, have a position for each thing that I'm trying to do. Got a vertical garden here. And a very low-tech version of a automated farm. Oh, uh, I gotta take this stuff out. Whoa, my goodness! Definitely need to put a chest on top of this guy. I didn't realize that this was going to produce so much stuff just after one day. To me, to me, this is a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff for me. So, low-tech automated garden. Just set this guy up. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, just started working on the automated stuff. I've been doing everything manually. Finally got into Tinker's Construct to double my ores. Been playing around with uh, that just to get myself nice and set up for why is this no oh, DJ teleport to beneath I'm I'm think I'm gonna have to create an my own beneath I just now realize that his beneath portal that we've all been using has no platform underneath of it and I'm pretty sure pretty sure when I log in I am going to just drop into the void. Thankfully, I can collect everything from the void one from my uh, graveyard. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Kalen is really good at the fences. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, this is super awesome. I love her fencing. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, that is good chisel and bit right there. That is good. I like that. That is super good. Oh, and she's got it all the way around her farm. Oh, and she put the farm animals down here, too. Oh, hey, Pickles is down here. Pickles. Hello, Pickles. This is our only mushroom. Got it from a uh, chance cube. So, Pickles showed up from a chance cube. Uh, Looney Nettie's Cake Palace, and only farm, uh, pig farm there, and yeah, she's moved all the f farm animals down there, and of course, Kaylin's got to add more cakes onto the top of her tower. <laughs> wow, is this reached the build limit? Please tell me this reaches, oh, this, this isn't the build limit, is it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, this isn't the build limit. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. I, th I think you put this there. I'm pretty sure you put that there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I put like three cakes on top of her uh, little chisel bit uh, water crystal that we created together. I put three cakes on top of that, and then she put more cakes, and then... Uh, okay, she blames Earthen. I don't know about that. I think there's a cake person over here. She might have put it there. Oh, and that, look, she has googly eyes too. But look at her fencing down here too. Oh, I suggested she should put a, a graveyard fence around here, and she did. And this stuff is fantastic. Look at this fencing. 
Oh, this is super cool, and I love the effect that it has, like, in real life when you do that sidestep to this, to this, where you can, oh, that, that looks so incredibly cool. Look at that. Just look at that fencing. I am just so impressed by this fencing. That is so cool. Of course, her and I are, like, the only two heavy chisel bitters. Like, nobody else has done any, like, super prettification of their areas i mean you got sky's place which is cool you can look through it uh and she's got a transparent bitch which i think is really cool and you can shift to drop through it <laughs> she was going to er, uh sky was thinking of uh making this entire place kind of like this bricks that you can shift through and fall through but uh, she realized if she wanted to uh, shift click onto a chest, she would fall through it every time. <laughs> or shift click onto anything. Uh, she has gone completely soul her with her uh, stuff. And so far, uh, she has not needed a another power source for anything. Earthen of, is, of course, into every tech mod ever and getting every achievement ever. So he has everything ever 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 i'm pretty sure he's killed a chaos dragon by now i'm is this an awaken yeah true yeah that's 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 an awakened thing yeah he's he's pretty much done with this game uh but yeah he's got a couple of uh awakened power things he's got himself his fire dragon and of course, we've got a uh, villager here from one of those giant chance cubes. Another giant chance cube. Don't know what the rainbow's from. I'm going to guess that's from a giant chance cube, as well as the poop ball and uh, light disco ball. And I think DJ... Not quite certain what DJ wants to do with his land over here, his tree land. It looks nice. He's got a giant uh, redwood. I need to actually get one of these saplings for myself. These things are pretty cool. Start building another base around this. And I haven't... Actually, I haven't been on when this guy's been on here. Uh, I believe his name is Dave. But yeah, I haven't been on when he's on. Uh, he's been doing pretty good as far as I can tell. He's been upgrading here and there. Every now and then when I get on... He's done something new. Uh, that that was another giant chance cube problem mistake. <laughs> uh, and of course, Alora was on, and she was working on her own little chisel bits. I can tell that this is at least a dragon. Uh, no, not a dragon. A bear or a cat. It is either a tiger or a bear. One of those two things. And this is the start of something else because it looks like there's an ear right here, or something like that. So Laura was on. DJ is definitely doing good for himself. His house is coming along nicely, and he's trimmed down his his automation down to this. Before he was like all over the place here. Ooh, ooh, he's actually doing something with the mob farm. Oh, that is looking good. I like that. All right. So yeah, I've been uh, chisel bidding up pretty much everything. Oh yeah. My water, my fishing area. <laughs> my fishing area. This took me forever. Um, this I uh, put down uh, just for something for somebody to fish. And I put down a pond, a floating, a floaty block pond area. And with a seaweed bottom that will uh, collect all the squid that fall down. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, do I have any legendary bags? I have three legendary bags. Yes. Oh, gosh, it scares me. Um, yeah, as everything in this area, before I was able to fly around, uh, has a walkability to each position on it, and I wanted to continue that even after I got flight by making this area down here that I wanted for more of my... And Enderman's been here. More of my automation stuff. Keeping everything open concept, floaty block, island type stuff that I so dearly love. 
and just having these open cave systems just love these open air cave systems these are I think this is a really cool idea just having all these little floaty bits as though I was inside of uh, the twisting nether in World of Warcraft and then eventually down here I will start creating a nether section with a lava factory for it but of course um, I need to get some nether rack and that's what this thing is down here is for as a matter of fact, speaking of, I need to put in some redstone into this guy to get some more red... More netherrack. Don't need too much more netherrack. I think I'm just going to keep it here and then I'm going to create a nether temple thing down here. Yeah, we're going to do that. And, oh yeah, that automation system actually wasn't set up by me. No. The chests and the auto hoppers were, the absorption apples were set up by me, but the automation system was set up by uh, Kaelin. Thank you very much, Kaelin. So let's see here. Summoning pendulum. Right, okay. Don't know what that is. Wither skeleton skull, know what that is, at least. Uh, mana steel ingot, diamond boots, nothing I really want. And Manilinium, that the, the the good stuff from Tinker's Construct. Nobody has an end portal as far as I know. And I'm gathering up all the blocks from the legendary bags that I can gather. And eventually I'll start making a fortress down there. Either that or I'll just stop playing this pack if I don't have enough time. Because, yeah, this has just been built up over the... Well, since, uh, since I stopped recording for a little while there. Eventually, I'll get back in once Minecraft, uh, updates their new, their, uh, new update. Updates their new update? Yeah, I couldn't keep up, think of a better word. So once that happens and go for crap, crap, go for crap. Once go for crap resets, then I'll be, uh, doing some more episodes on there. Uh, but until then, things are kind of sparse with uh, the additional job of photography. Um, also, I've been trying to, as well as doing all this fun stuff, I've been trying to do the animations, such as the next Pretty Horses episode. But um, right after, at the end of this episode, I'm going to show you a little bit of a Hermitcraft Carnival blender video that I'm trying to work on. It's not going to be a uh, Minecraft machinima based anymore. It's going to be inside of Blender and I think I got a pretty good one. I have to um oh later. Ah, poopers. Um yeah, it's not going to be in uh it's not going to be a machinima anymore. It's going to be inside of Blender, and I cannot finish it until Hermitcraft uh, up has their map ready for upload, of uh, ready for download. Because once they can give that as a download, then I'll be able to put that into the latest video. But of course, I need to get to that point. So a bunch of it does need to be animated without that download, but uh, yeah, I'm going to show you a bit of what I have done so far, and I'm putting it in a type of uh, uh, solid block, no texture mode, not to give, uh, not to spoil a bunch of stuff that is going to be presented in the video. So I think it's pretty cool. It's only the first couple seconds uh, of it but I really enjoy it.
So thank you everybody for listening to my lengthy update. Um, I'll continue to update at, with uh, some Let's Plays as I can. Um, and as much space as is allowed on the computer. Um, and just depending on what time that I have. So, I will talk to everybody. I will talk to you. Nah. I will see you guys later. This is the Puka signing out.